Hello everyone, it's GSG and I welcome you to this new video. The brand Linogy offered to send me their new Kickstarter project, a battery charger. I thought, a battery charger in 2025? Well, at the same time, I still have quite a few things that use batteries. And maybe you're a bit like me, you say, well, there are regular batteries on rechargeable batteries. But since we all have smartphones, we've realized that not all batteries have the same capacity and that lithium batteries are much better than nickel batteries. So sure, the brand Linogi already offers us a charger that is extremely well designed with an automatic tray where the batteries fall in and everything. But it also offers us lithium batteries. And yes, why not use current technology for batteries? Since in theory, lithium has more power, more endurance, more charge cycles, and it recharges faster. So we will need to compare with the old batteries to see if these ones are really better. And you will see that maybe like me, you will learn quite a few things because seeing products in photos is good, but seeing them in video is better. So free yourself and discover all our high tech notes on the smartphone. One of the first things we might say is, yeah, but batteries in 2025 are too outdated. Now everything is with rechargeable batteries. Well, the number of products I've bought with crappy batteries that died within six months and then the product ends up in the trash because it's impossible to find the same battery makes you think it might have been better to either use regular batteries or rechargeable ones. Then my Lego Star Wars alarm clock works with two small batteries. By the way, my remote control and the air conditioning remote work with batteries. So when one runs out of batteries, I take the batteries from the other, but then I end up with no batteries. Well, we've all been there. And also quite a few small lamps that allow for testing either with small batteries or there were LR3, LR6, but apparently now it's AA and AA. And let's discover our Linogi pack a bit. We start with the contents of the box. In the box, we will obviously have our charger. Okay, a USB type C to USB type C cable to power it and recharge a little. And well, our pack was delivered with batteries, of course, lithium batteries. So rechargeable AA Pro 3600 million for our lithium ion batteries. In addition, they are all colored. They are quite pretty. There will also be four small ALA batteries. So AAA with 1300 million per hour. So they are still lithium ion and they are still colored. And it's true that it adds a little touch of color. Also in the box, we will have adapters, yes, to transform our AAA batteries into AA batteries. And let's take a look at our charging case at the back. Well, a classic USB type C port, so it's five volts, three amperes. But since they don't provide the charger with it, you can use any charger of five by three to 15 watts. And well, it's not amazing, it's rather simple. On the left and right of our box, there will be nothing at all. And underneath, we will have four non-slip feet, but the best part will obviously be on top. On top, there will be an opening to put, well, obviously our batteries. Obviously our batteries can be easily, we can easily put them in once again. So you will obviously put the AA batteries or you will put the AAA batteries in the AA adapter and you can obviously put them inside. We will also have a notification LED on the right. Once again, when it's green, it's okay. When it's green and blinking, it means it's charging. When it's red, well, that's not good. It means it's not a rechargeable battery or your battery is dead. Because yes, beyond the little button that will allow you to start the test, we realize that the spot all the way to the right is also a battery tester. But yes, to know a little bit about its status. It already avoids buying one and having it somewhat integrated. So it tells us that when it blinks yellow, it's checking your battery a bit. When it's green, it means your battery is good, that it has enough power. When the LED is yellow, it means your battery is really too low and you'll need to recharge it. And it cannot... And if it is red, it means it is not, maybe your battery is dead, etc., etc. At the front of our device, there will be a small LCD screen. It shows us the number of batteries you have recharged. Also, how you were able to save the planet and the number of, no, not the number of dolphins, of course, but you will have the number of charges you have done, so the number of batteries you have used. And by scanning through the app, you will know a bit more because, yes, you have to look closely. Do you know me? So, uh, uh, charged battery, so I recharged 21 and the amount of CO2 reduced per kilo. We are at 2.244. Uh, we will also note at the bottom a drawer in which you are and you will see that your batteries will fall into this drawer. So, uh, two solutions. You either have to wait until all the batteries are recharged and when they are all recharged, they fall into the bin. Or, well, some are recharged and the others and we're still pretty close. And in that case, you keep pressing the button and then the batteries will fall in. Well, so you will have understood, you will be able to recharge AA batteries and AA batteries. There you go, double A AA or triple A. But you will also be able to recharge, well, all rechargeable batteries. 
At one point, our batteries, they are lithium ion. It's really cool. But if you have rechargeable batteries that are an IMH or an ICD, you can also recharge them with the charger since it is compatible with, well, certainly all batteries and certainly all brands. You don't have to use Linogi batteries. You can use Energizer, Eneloop, Duracell, or like an IMH and ICD batteries. There you go. You can find them on Amazon in stores. We, oui. to compare it a bit, found some Eneloop batteries. I thought it sounded a bit like Penelope, but they're mainly Panasonic. <laughs> It's that Panasonic and Eneloop. We almost have Penelope. Well, our placement at the top, you'll notice that you can put up to eight batteries at once, which is quite a lot, huh? Which allows you to have a little bit of a head start. And in the compartment, you can put up to 40 batteries. There you go. Plus, it's true that if you put colorful things and everything at the bottom, it's true that it will look quite nice. So one of the questions you might ask me is, yes, but then what's the point of choosing Linogy batteries over other batteries? Well, the Linogy batteries are obviously lithium, of course. So they have one and a half times more lifespan once again. They charge faster. They have more power with 3,600 milliwatt hours. Apparently, they even recharge faster. They recharge in only three hours. We will compare that. And so they have better efficiency and especially a better charge cycle. You will be able to recharge them up to 1,200 times. Also, we will have AAA batteries. So there, well, similarly, they also charge faster. The battery is 1,300 milliwatt hours. So a full recharge in three hours. And once again, 1,200 charge cycles. But again, maybe you're like me. You say, yes, but a battery is a battery. There you go. So uh, I would have compared a bit with the Eneloop to see, well, technically, how does it perform? Well, let's take our AA Eneloop battery. Well, first of all, it's nickel, not lithium. You already understand. It will charge slower and all that. Well, it has 2,500 milliampere hours. However, the other one was 3,600 milliwatt hours. Be careful. There's a slight difference. It feels a bit like comparing pickles and cucumbers. So if we take our AAA, still nickel versus lithium, we're only at 950 milliampere hours against 1,500 milliwatt hours. You're thinking you've lost, there are milliwatt hours. So watt hours, once again, well, it's watts. So it's power times intensity, P equals U. Whereas the other one, we have milliampere hour. So you say, ah, oh, ampere, that's the current. So in fact, you would almost just need to multiply milliampere hour by the battery's voltage to get the milliwatt hour. Let's do that right away, because yes, we will need to compare the two batteries a bit. One, first thing, it tells us that, well, our Eneloop battery has an output voltage of 1.2 volts, whereas our lithium batteries have an output voltage of 1.5 volts, which works very well in almost all devices since, well, it's limited, protected and all, but already we have a slightly higher voltage. So as a result, a bit more power. So our Lino G battery is 3,600 milliwatt hours, 1.5 volts. Okay, and it's lithium. Our Eneloop battery is only 2,500 milliampere hours. So if we do, well then, P equals U. We multiply the 2,500 milliampere hours by 1.2 volts. And there, we reach 3,000 milliwatt hours. So we're more on a ratio of 3,000 versus 3,600. There you go. At least we have a real point of comparison. So like this, we have the same battery format. We have 20% more power somewhere on our lithium battery. If not for one being a nickel and the other lithium, one is 1.2 volts and the other is 1.5 volts. We will see that this is important. Oh yes, nickel batteries have a charge cycle between 600 and 800. They can be recharged between 600 and 800 times, which is a lot already. But our lithium batteries were at uh, 1,200. It's better. So first I'm going to drain the batteries. So I drained the AA and AAA batteries. So for the small batteries I took, well, I bought LED flashlights like this, which I found in stores and all. That seemed pretty good to me. Plus, you can put three in there, so it uses them a bit faster. And for the big batteries, the AA ones, I bought an LED lamp, an energizer lamp, where you can put two batteries in series again. Well, that seemed good to me too. So I used them, completely drained them, and then fully recharged them with my charger. I waited, and they fell into the tray. Magnificent. Well, I'm testing my little batteries. So the AAA, I put them in my lamps. So I had two lamps. I turn them on, I start them up, we should go. For half an hour, I realized that, well, my little lamps were kind of toys. They weren't made to stay on for more than half an hour. And after half an hour, one of them died. Well, yes, at the same time, it overheated too much. They're small lamps. They're not made to stay on for half an hour nonstop. The batteries, no problem. However, the lamp died. So out of the two, one of them died. I thought I would manage with just one, but the other one died too. Once again, they're flashlights, you know, just to light up a bit like that. 
I thought to myself, I'll try with AA batteries and especially with Energizer. So I recharge my AA batteries, put them in the lamp again. So we put them in series. So I thought, well, somehow it's going to increase the voltage. And then we think, ah, it's still a quality lamp. Let's see how long we can keep them on. Great, Scott Marty. So I left it on. So with the Linogi batteries, the lamp stayed on for seven hours. After seven hours, I won't hide from you that the lamp was starting to get a bit tired, like it was barely lighting anymore. I thought, well, since there are three settings, I thought there's strong, medium, high, minimum. I said, I'll turn it off and on again. After seven hours, well, I turned it off. And when I wanted to turn it back on, well, there you go. It wouldn't turn on anymore. Then I put my Eneloop batteries back in. Well, same thing. Once again, fully charged. I put them in the LED lamp and all. I turn it on. Damn, after two hours already, uh, the lamp was wasn't doing well. I say nothing. It's not doing well and all. Same. What I'll do, I'll turn it on and off. It'll give it a little refresh. And I turned off the lamp and it never came back on. So uh, you're thinking, oh no, no, the lamp still works fine. There's no problem. And it's because of the batteries. Once again, since many electronic devices have a detection voltage, that means the device tells you, for example, if there aren't two volts, well, I won't start. There you go. It's still electronics. So as we have our Linogi batteries that are 1.5 and 1.5, since they are in series, we reach three volts. So inevitably, over time, even though the voltage will drop, it will drop much more slowly than our two batteries of 1.2 plus 1.2 that start at 2.4. So if, uh, for example, the detection voltage, I'm just saying something, was at two volts like that, well, our Linogi batteries will last a really long time from three volts to reach two volts. Whereas our any loop battery started at 2.4 after two hours, there might have been only two volts left or even a bit less. When I turned off the lamp and turned it back on, bam, nothing, it wouldn't start. And yet we we'll see that there was still some current left in them. All right, now let's move on to the charging level. So I take my Linogy batteries, put them in the charger. The brand told us a full charge in three hours and we got a full charge in two hours and 50 something. Yes, because after that, I wasn't just waiting in front. I passed by, came back, charged them. It was two hours and 50. There you go. Once again, were they completely empty? Maybe not, but well, we're under three hours. Then I recharge the AnyLoop batteries. And that's where the big surprise was. I put my two batteries in, they start charging, and one battery was recharged in one hour. In one hour, I had a battery that was fully charged. So that meant that, in fact, out of the two batteries, only one had its voltage drop, which was enough for the device to no longer start. The other battery was more drained. There, it was hell. It lasted more than four hours. Then I left. After four hours, I said, that's enough. I had other things to do. Well, like that. I let it charge and everything, it was still extremely long. At the same time, we expected it. Well then, I would have put all my batteries in the charger and let them charge. And it's true that the side, so you would support though, you really have to wait until they are all charged for them to drop. It's true, sometimes some are charged, others are not like that, you see. It depends a little on the batteries and uh, their level of, if they were really empty or not too much and all, and then they drop into the bin and all. Visually, you have to be there at the right moment. But then they are stored inside and it's still quite practical. We have a charger that is, that is super classy, and it's true that lithium batteries, as you might have guessed, lithium is better. But why is it better? Well, before talking about that, let's talk a bit about our charger. First of all, it's really great. It charges our AA batteries, all the batteries, and especially all the rechargeable batteries. And it also charges AAA batteries. So there isn't an exact slot. You'll need to use their adapter. We, he gives it to us inside. We can only recharge four at a time with the adapter and everything, but it's good. I liked it. We put the batteries inside, we clip them on. If you clip them wrong, well, no, it shows red. So you put them in the right place and everything. It's not bad. Then it falls inside. You can really recharge batteries of all brands and all generations, whether nickel, lithium, CD, or MH. There you go. As you can see, there are plenty of options. Energizer, Panasonic, Linergy. There you go. You know that the product, if you don't want to, you want to buy batteries like me to compare. You can do it. The little tester on the right is nice to know where your battery stands. Then once again, you only have three levels, you know. Either it's dead or there's not enough or there's enough. There you go. There's no, it might have been nice to have the number of volts like that or maybe the percentage that could have been good. And what I would have liked is the storage at the bottom. You know, you look. I look because at the same time, you never know where to put these batteries once they're charged or not. There, you put them inside. When they fall, it means they are charged. So you just need to open the container and take your batteries from it. You have a visual effect. At least you know where the batteries are. And at least you have a visual effect of what you have left in batteries, which ones are charged, which ones are recharging and all that. The lithium batteries, why are they better? Well, first, 3,600 milliwatt hours. Again, you have to do the math with the others that are only somewhere at 3,000. So, well, there you go. We have in a way more watt hours, more power. 
the 1.5 volts make almost all the difference. Again, because of this detection voltage on quite a few electronic products, well, starting from 1.5 instead of 1.2, well, right away you have more, I don't know what, no, you have more volts again, especially if you put them in series. Well, then they recharge much faster. Thanks to lithium, once again, the charger is only 15 watts. Somehow we saw three, five times at three amperes, you see. So we can recharge the batteries in a maximum of three hours. For those who really need it, you know, when remote controlled cars there, which consume quite a lot of batteries or some Wii remotes, things like that, there you go. There, you know that in three hours, all your batteries are recharged. So as soon as you have a bit of a lead, you can play, you can recharge uh, all that, all that. And the, num the number of cycles, if well, it's for your remote control, you'll change the batteries once a year or your air conditioner, maybe the same. But if you have something that uses up batteries or you have a turnover where you say, yes, but I need batteries every day or several times a day or a remote controlled car where. So is it really great? Well, yes, once again, I still have quite a few things with batteries and I'm really happy to have a device like this. There you go. One of the things you might say to me, yes, but for me with LG, I'm willing to invest, but how much, how much for the charger and the display case? So for now, I only have the Kickstarter prices. So once again, well, we'll have to wait for the launch, blah, 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 the site, the offers. I will put all the links directly in the description, directly for purchasing. And if I have a promo code, there are offers. If we take the price like that on Kickstarter, the classic pack, like the one I received, was $99, which is 85 euros, excluding tax once again. So at the VAT and everything, we should roughly get to that. There you go. I don't have the prices yet, so you'll have to wait a little bit. There is also a deluxe pack with lots of batteries and everything. There you go. For heavy battery users, there is a deluxe pack with lots and lots of batteries. There you go. If you want even more, I will tell you to read in the description. And that the first one who has gives us a little bit, well, the prices of the day.